welcome back to my channel. Today I invite you to make with me this delicious old-fashioned cherry jam. Let's start. So I've got four pounds of cherries originally. Right now left few just for eating and um, pit it all after I wash it with cold water. Right now my berries are ready to be cooked. All right, I waited my uh, cherries right now after they've been pitted. I have one kilos and 688 grams of cherries. Um, I'm going to squeeze out juice from one lemon. So this is first half. So that kind of preserves our cherries and a little bit from this half for this amount of cherries i'm going to use 1.5 kilos so one to one just a little bit less i have them so if you have four pounds of cherries you use four pounds of sugar if you have uh, one pound of cherries so one pound of sugar so since i have a lot of cherries so i'm using also a good amount of sugar so making a thick syrup this way now we're mixing it up carefully and then we're going to take it to a slow cooking until uh, as you can see i'm not adding any water i'm just kind of mixing it up bringing in the pot and going to a low heat, low to like a low medium, uh, cook it slowly until the cherries will give us some juice. And then we will increase the heat. If you would like to reduce the time of cooking, you could leave your cherries covered in sugar that uh, what we did earlier for half an hour. And the cherries naturally will uh, release the juice and then you could cook your jam after that but um, as you can see already just uh, been a couple minutes uh, and uh, the cherry is getting more wet the sugar is also getting saturated with uh, cherry juice and right now I'm going to start cooking on low heat and gradually will increase the heat. Just would like to share with you, while it's cooking on the low heat, do not turn it around your cherries. Uh, let them just soak in there, let them release the juice, otherwise they get uh, squashed. So we want to try to keep uh, our berries as a whole. So right now it's been five minutes I have uh, just a little bit higher than uh, low heat and um, it's slowly slowly releasing the juices it's been 15 minutes since we started cooking as you could see uh, there's uh, plenty of syrup right now forming so at this point we could increase uh, the volume to medium even to the high heat um, since we have enough liquid right now and we know that uh, our berries will not get burned so right now after 15 minutes of cooking after we see the liquid uh, good, good amount of liquid then we could uh, increase the heat right now as we're increasing the heat uh, this is the time when you can carefully mix your berries with your syrup berries are still hard so we still can carefully turn it around so it's also evenly will cook and as you can see there's lots of lots of liquid and uh, the berries kind of shrinking so it's not such a high volume as it was at the beginning so right now we need to see that all your all of our sugar melted and the berries will get soft enough. So I will cook for another 
15 minutes after I, I increase the, uh, the heat. So right now it's not boiling, but in probably a couple of more minutes, it will start uh, boiling. It's been almost 15 minutes since I increased the uh, heat. As you can see, uh, there is lots of foam. So I reduce the heat to the low point right now and let uh, this foam settle down and kind of relax the jam at this point. So you have to be here, otherwise uh, your foam will run away and makes a terrible mess. So be here. If you prefer, you could remove the foam, but um, I'm going to keep the foam. It worked for me in the past as the pectin. So I'm going to use this foam as a natural pectin. So right now, just uh, watching that whole situation, reduce the heat. You know, when it slows down, you can again increase. So it's uh, again, 15 minutes after I increase, so about half an hour altogether since uh, we start cooking. And I'm going to cook for another 15 more minutes. I tested my syrup and it is like a soup sweet. So I'm going to add uh, one more lemon and juice it. So it gives a little bit little bit of this uh, sourness so it's not the like super sweet sweet I guess it depends on the cherries if you take just two pounds of cherries so you probably need just one lemon but I took nice quantity so you can add a little bit more yeah so it, it even smells uh, with lemon juice so continue cooking so it's been another 15 minutes i turned it off and what i'm doing i'm filling up my glass jar with cherries that's how they look right now if you would like to thicken more the syrup you could just uh, continue cooking so it gets thicker you could add uh, thickness uh, with gelatin and Pectin extra, you could, uh, and, uh, and in a little while, I'll fill it up in my jars with syrup as well. So I want to make sure that we have the syrup. I've been testing it right now. That's how it looks when you take it out and when you put it. So you see, it still connects to each other. So. I'm going, I don't want to cook uh, cherries for longer because they are right now perfect. They are soft, uh, they cooked well, they absorbed all the sugars and I don't want them to open up completely. So that's why I'm removing cherries and then I can continue a little bit uh, longer, maybe for another 15 to 20 minutes, cook the syrup, thicken it up and then uh, uh, fill up my jars with syrup. All right, guys, at the end, we've got this uh, beautiful cherry jam. It's kind of old fashioned. That's how it used to be. A little bit uh, kind of syrup is liquidy, but not too thick. As, you, as I mentioned, with cherries, um, it's hard to make it thick naturally because uh, cherry on its own has very little pectin. So if you want like a really thick, you could add jello or extra pectin uh, to your gelatin and extra pectin. Or they have like sugar with pectin. So you could just uh, need to add something. But this is the old fashioned. I remember my grandma and my mom used to make uh, jams like that so it's a really beautiful color as you can see it's a, like a ruby color jam perfect uh, uh, with your breakfast uh, you could use for your desserts as you can see the cherries uh, kept their form they are whole and you could just decorate your favorite dessert uh, the end result what do we have i have four 15 ounces jars of this cherry jam and also since we made uh, um, the end result was quite a bit of uh, uh, liquid uh, 
syrup left so and i have also one of a bottle like this so i've been reusing my um uh, energy <laughs> drink uh, bottle and uh, here it's uh, 473 milliliters but of course syrup is much heavier than uh, what, whatever was in here so it's 16 ounces uh, of liquid in here uh, but syrup itself is much heavier so you could use for your pancakes and for your other desserts uh, if you would like so this is uh, beautiful it's very very tasty it is a little su on the sweet side so you don't use too much of it but that's the old-fashioned cherry jam i hope you enjoy like subscribe and see you next time bye